Hello and welcome to Stotch Ross Maths key skill video on determining the coordinate of a point in any quadrant. Now in the previous video we explored the idea of coordinates to show the position of something in two directions, both in the left right direction and the up down direction. And we only explored coordinates in the previous video where both the x value and the y value were positive, so in this region here. And this region here is known as the first quadrant where the x and y value are positive. But we've also got the second quadrant over here. We've got the third quadrant down here. And we've got the fourth quadrant down here. And notice these go in an anti-clockwise fashion. So the principle is exactly the same as before. We just have to see for each of these points how far we have to go along the x-axis, so this kind of left-right number line, and how far we have to go along the y-axis, this kind of up-down number line. So let's look at the first coordinate. And remember, coordinates always go in brackets with a comma in the middle. Starting from the origin here, how far do we have to go along the x-axis before we get directly under the point A? Well, we can see we have to go along 3. And then we have to go up 1. So that's 1 in the y direction. So therefore, the y value is 1, like this. What about the point B? How far along do we have to go along the x-axis? Remember, this first value is the x-value. The, the second value is the y-value. And alphabetically, x comes before y, so the x-value should come before the y-value. What about b? Well, can you see in the x-direction, we have to go 2 to the left, don't we, to get under b? So look, that's minus 2. And then how far do we have to go up the y-axis in the y-direction? We can see we have to go up 4, so therefore the y-value is 4. What about C? How far from the origin do we have to go in the x-direction? Well, we have to go minus 3 in the x-direction to get to C. But notice we don't have to go up or down in this y-direction here, so therefore the y-value is going to be 0. What about D? Well, in the x direction, starting from the origin, we have to go 2 to the left to get to minus 2. And then we have to go down from there to a y value of minus 3, you can see here. So that's minus 3. And then E. From the origin, we don't have to go left or right at all until we're level with E. So that's an x value 0, but we do have to go down to get to e to minus 4, so the y value is minus 4. And then finally f, can you see in the x direction we have to go along to 5, so the x value is 5, and then we have to go down 3 to a y value of 3, so that's minus 3.